Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced selecting joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called customer placing the largest number of orders and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 15th video of the series called customer placing the largest number of orders and if I look at the companies this question has been asked in so Adobe, Google, Apple, Uber, Twitter a lot of times. So kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called orders with two different columns order number and customer number and both of them have a data type integer. Order number is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. This table contains information about the order ID and the customer ID. We are asked to write a solution to find the customer number for the customer who has place the largest number of orders the test cases are generated so that exactly one customer will have placed more orders than any other customer let's look at the example so here we have various different orders and different customer numbers so obviously just by looking at it customer number three has order two which is more than every other customer so in the output you need to have that so just by looking at it right and looking at this statement the test cases are generated so that exactly one customer will have placed more orders than any other customer so we can simply go ahead and group by the customer number and then uh, count the number of orders and then order in descending manner and say okay because there is there can be only one customer that will have the maximum order you can just limit the output to one but that is a very hard code of way of doing the solution because if you look at the follow-up of this it's asked so what if more than one customer has the largest number of orders can you find all the customer number in this case so let's try to develop a solution which can address both of this in one single query so the first thing that we should do is for every customer we can try to count okay what is the different number of orders for them so what we can do is we learned about window functions in previous videos of this series right so what we can do is from this table called orders we can keep both the columns select star and then try to find out okay since we are using a window function we need to write the over clause and then what we can do is for every customer number we need to find out the total number of orders so partition by customer number and then what we need to do is we need to count the order number and since order number is a primary key so obviously you do not need to write distinct before that so count the order number so that we are able to okay let me just bring it down so that it's easier for us okay and let me alias this as count so this is going to give you for every customer number what are the different number of orders made so if i go ahead and look at it so here we have let me drag it above so for customer number one there is only one order so one customer number two one order customer number three has two orders right so two is populated once we have this then what we need is we need which customers ordered the maximum number of orders so basically what we can do is we can use the rank right we we'll, remember we learned about row number rank dense rank etc functions earlier in the series as well so we can employ that what we can do is so this entire thing is coming from this right so this can be classified as a table so from this table and let me call this table as counts because here we counted okay for every customer number how many total orders there were made from this table called counts what we are doing is let's try to rank so return star to so keep all the three columns and then rank now we know that there are three different ways of ranking in sql row number rank and dense rank here row number won't work but what if there is a customer number four who also have two orders so row number irrespective of being a ties it will assign a different rank so it won't work so either you can use rank or dense rank i like to usually use dense rank because it's like it makes more sense but yeah you can perfectly use rank here and get the solution as well no problem so over and then we need to order by count order by count in decreasing manner and let me alias this as rnk which is rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it so obviously this customer number three because this customer has the highest count of orders so is ranked one and then two because both of them has number of orders equal to one so this is how we get okay now what we need is we need the people with the highest number of orders so obviously rank equal to one is assigned to those who have the highest number of orders so what we can do is 
from this entire thing that we just got so from this entire thing we can alias this as or name this table as let's say ranks what we need is we need to keep only those rows where your rank is equal to one which means the highest number of orders and then what we need in our output is we need only the customer number but if you look at it if you just do return customer number it will have two rows so we need only the distinct customer numbers so we can simply go ahead and write return distinct customer number right and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it okay so this is a generalized way of doing this question right instead of using limits and everything and how general this solution is like if they ask us okay what is the second highest order all you need to change in this is rank is equal to two right so you know that is why developing a general solution is a way better method than you know trying to hard code things but yeah let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video